I'm still trying to get my mind around the fact that I've been arrested for silent thoughts going on in the privacy of my own head. My faith is a central part of who I am, so sometimes I'd stand or walk near an abortion facility and pray about this issue. Police asked me what I was doing one afternoon near the abortion centre. I was clearly just standing there, motionless. I was completely silent. I let the police officers know that I might be praying inside my own head. That's all I was doing, thinking, lifting up my thoughts to God in silent prayer. This was enough for them to arrest me and take me to the station. Before doing this, they searched me on the pavement, even searching through my hair and confiscating the tissues from my pockets. When I was taken down to the police station, I was then grilled about what I was thinking. Later, they let me know that I've now been charged on four counts because of the thoughts I've been thinking and where I was thinking them. You don't have to be pro-life to see that this is wrong. Freedom of thought, conscience and belief are the most fundamental rights and are an essential part of our human identity. My name's Isabel. I'm a friend to some, a sister to others, a charity worker, a Christian. I'm not a criminal, but I've been censored. Um, before I ask you any questions about what's going on today, I have to caution you, which is just your rights, which is you do not have to say anything. It may harm your defence if you do not mention one question, something which you later on in court, anything you do say may be given you. Uh, what, what are you here for today? Uh, physically, I'm just standing here. Okay. Why, why here of all places? I know you, you don't live nearby. But this is an abortion centre. Okay. That's why you're standing here. Is you standing here part of the protest? No. I'm not are you, protesting. Are you, are you praying? I might be praying in my head. Um, so I'll, I'll ask you once more, will you voluntarily come with us now to the police station for me to ask you some questions about today and other days where there are allegations that you've broken public spaces protection? Uh, if I've got a choice, then no. Okay, well then you're under arrest. I can't suspicion of failing to comply with the public spaces protection order, which is under the uh, Antisocial Behaviour Crime and Policing Act 2014. Now of course you again, you don't have to say anything. It may harm your defence if you do not mention one question Something which you later on in court, anything you do say may be given. Do you understand the caution? I do, yes. Um, your arrest is necessary in order for the prompt and effective investigation into the offence. What that means is so that I can ask you some questions and also to protect uh, vulnerable people, mainly service users in the clinic. Okay? Um, so you'll come here now to the police station, uh, you get booked in front of a custody sergeant, and then if you want a solicitor, you can have a solicitor on the limit. Okay? Um, I don't tend to handcuff you, but obviously my, my colleague will search you because you're going to get into a police car and make sure you don't have anything that you can harm us or you can just just Okay.